Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to walk you through the three-step process when you want to apply protection to the cells that contain formulas in Excel. Now, I'm going to be using the same uh, inventory analysis workbook uh, that my friend Alan Friedman has created. So let's come over here and take a look. We have completed most of our work. We're ready to send this on to a client. Our goal here is that we want to apply protection to the cells that contain formulas. However, we need the client to be able to type in or paste in the uh, constant values for sales, cost of goods sold, and average inventory. Now, this process, and it's a three-step process, can be confusing. That's why I've created this diagram over here. So our goal is we want to protect the cells that contain formulas. And the first step that we do is going to seem completely counterintuitive. What we want to do is we want to select the cells that don't contain the formulas. In other words, the cells where we will input our own sales figures, our own cost of goods sold, and our average inventory. So the key to understanding how this logic works if you uh, open up the Format Cells dialog box and come over here and click on the Protection tab, you'll notice that there's a check next to Lock. By default, all Excel workbooks have every cell in the workbook locked. Now, that doesn't seem to make any sense, and until you read the explanation, uh, it starts to become a little clearer. So locking the cells or hiding the cells that contain formulas has no effect until you actually protect the worksheet. So there's our three-step process. First, we need to be able to select the cells where our client will type in input values. And we need to then come over into the Format Cells dialog box. And after we have that selection, we want to uncheck the lock and then apply protection. Now, I'm using Excel 2010 here, Excel 2007, same steps. Later in the lesson, I'll go through this in Excel 2003. So remember, we want to apply protection to the cells that contain formulas. If I use this keyboard shortcut, Control plus tilde, you can see the cells that contain formulas, which I want to protect. However, I first need to select the cells that contain constant numeric values and then unlock them. Control tilde is a toggle. So the fastest way to select the cells that contain numeric values, home tab of the ribbon, over here in the editing group for the drop down menu find and select we want to select not go to we want to select go to special so this opens up the go to special dialog box select constants and then we want to narrow down our selection we want to in this case uh, select only the numeric values now click ok now they're selected Remember, before we can apply formatting, which is what we're going to do in this next step, is we have to select the cell or the range of cells that we wish to apply formatting to. So let's open up the Format Cells dialog box. Easiest way to do that is just simply right mouse click and come down here and say Format Cells. Make sure that you come over here onto the Protection tab. So for the cells that we selected, the cells that we wish to format, we uncheck locked and then click OK. Now what we need to do is in our final step we need to protect the worksheet. Go to the review tab of the ribbon in Excel 2007, Excel 2010 and over here in the changes group select protect the worksheet. Now there again is an opportunity for you to uh, get all confused over here. First off, I'm not a big fan of passwords. I tend to forget the password and then I can't even open up the worksheet. So I'm not going to use a password. And the area that gets confusing is that when you first open this up, both of these options are going to be selected. So let's read it through. When we protect the worksheet, we want to allow all users of this worksheet to be able to do what? Well, we really want them to only be able to select the unlock cells. So I'm going to deselect this. Now click OK. All right, let's try this out. Remember, I unlocked the cells that contain the constant value. So I can put another value in there. And that value then uh, is reflected in the formula that is updated. So let's use Control Z to undo that. So you can see the value of the formula. But I can select any of these cells that I unlocked. However, notice that when I try to move down into a cell that contains a formula, I'm locked out. 
So remember the three-step process. We first selected the cells that we wanted to unlock. We open up the Format Cells, go to the Protection tab, deselect Locked, and then go into the Review tab of the ribbon, Protect the Worksheet, and be careful with the options. All right, now let me come over and I'll just quickly do the same thing in Excel 2003. Same worksheet. I want to be able to protect the cells that contain the formulas. Now, in this case, what I want to do is I can either come over here into the Edit menu and then choose Go To or use the keyboard shortcut Control G. Over here in the Go To, I need to click on Special and then come over here and I want to select the con uh, constant values that are only numeric and click OK. Now that they're selected, either right mouse click or go to the format tab uh, or the format menu and choose cells. Notice the keyboard shortcut over there, control plus the number one. So on the protection tab, I want to unlock the cells. Click OK. Next, I need to apply protection. Well, you find that on the Tools menu. So click on the Tools menu, Protection, and we want to protect the worksheet. No password, and what I want to make sure that I do is I allow the users of this uh, worksheet to do what? I want them to only be able to select the Unlock Cells. And now let's click OK, and let's test it out. Try a number, 254789. That's fine. The formula gets updated, but notice that I'm locked out. I can't actually select the cells that contain the formulas. So it is a, a somewhat confusing process. I'll grant you that. It's not easy to grasp this. However, if you follow the, the steps that I've outlined in the diagram, it will make a lot more sense. So just in closing, if you want to be able to download this worksheet, go to the Friedman Kannenberg website, www.fkco, go over here onto the Resources tab, and look for the Seminar Handouts. And this is the worksheet that I've been using over here, Inventory Analysis. And if you want to learn more tips just like this, I have my DVD-ROM, The 50 Best Tips for Excel 2007. And I will look for you in the next lesson.